Hi guys, I'm Anna. I'm Sarah. And we're here to talk to you about Mary Whitten Calkins. Uh, you probably haven't heard of her, but she was one of the most prominent first female psychologists, and we're gonna tell you why. Uh, uh, Dr. Calkins, she was born March 30th in 1863, and she was born in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, she was the eldest of five children. Uh, she also got her bachelor's degree in philosophy and classics from Smith College in 1884. Um, Dr. Mary Wynton Calkins first uh, started studying at Harvard University after graduating from Smith College. Her interest in psychology was apparent, but she was not admitted as a student because she was a female and at the time females were not allowed um, to intermingle with males in the study in studying at Harvard. Um, she had two advocates, a Hugo Munsterberg and William James, who advocated um, the acceptance of her PhD after finishing all of the um, appropriate measures to get a PhD at Harvard, but it was denied by the president of Harvard uh, because she was a female. This uh, later proved itself to be one of her uh, main issues as a feminist. Uh, she also helped establish the um, first lab, which was dedicated to the study of psychology at um, Wellesley College with a budget of only $200. In 1905, she became the 14th president of the APA, but the first female president. She was a writer and is published in many psychology journals. She also spent her first few professional years as a professor at Will Leslie College teaching Greek before fully committing to her aspirations as a psychologist. Most of Mary Witten Calkin's research centered on the psychology of self, and one of her very first areas of interest was in dream research. She conducted a two-month intensive research study in which she analyzed over 350 dreams, mostly that those of herself and a colleague. Calkin stated that there existed a close connection between the dream life and the waking life, and that the dream will reproduce in general the person's places, persons, places, and events of recent sense perception. So that is reality in dream form. So whatever is projected in reality will be projected uh, in dream. Later, with Freud's considered fame in dream research, Calkin sought to undermine her own work by accepting Freud's explanations instead. Freud praised Calkin's research openly. Uh, one of uh, Mary Witten Calkin's biggest con contributions to psychology was her discovery of paired associate learning, uh, which she discovered in 1894. Uh, so basically, paired associate learning is the learning of syllables, digits, or words in pairs so that one member of the pair evokes recall of, of the other. Her method consisted of showing a series of colors paired with numerals followed by testing for recall of, of the numbers when the colors with which they were pre pre previously paired are flashed again. And so having said that, Of all of her psychological interests, uh, Mary Witten Calkins was most interested in self-psychology. Calkins identified self-psychology as the study of the conscious organism, focusing on the subject or self, the object, and the relationship between the two. Her analysis of the self contributed immensely to the development of self-psychology, which at the time was in big contrast to the prevailing ideas of strict behaviorism without attention to internal factors. These are her main contributions. In conclusion, uh, so this is a quote uh, which Mary Witten Calkins has stated. She said, the student trained to reach decisions in the light of logic and of history will be disposed to recognize that a distinction based on difference of sex is artificial and illogical. Thank you for watching. <laughs>